Hey people, I hope you all are doing great. I have got a lot of requests making this video from the last community post. So here I am making this video. I hope this video helps you out. So this video is all about how to optimize your PC for gaming and I'm sure that this will work with everyone. So follow this video till the end. I'm going to share a lot of valuable information in this video. So I hope you enjoy it. And also I have noticed that only 4.5% of you are subscribed. So please subscribe to the channel, you won't regret it. Now that said, let's get started with the video. Alright, first of all, what you have to do is press Windows and R together and then type in percentage temp percentage. Now open that thing up and it will open up a folder in front of you. Now what you have to do is press Ctrl A and hit delete. Once you hit delete it will ask you to delete some things just skip them all and the things it will ask you to skip is nothing but the files that are currently being used. So it's better to remove everything so you know just skip all of them. You know, let's do the same, remove thousands of files from my computer. Now press Windows and R together and type in temp without percentage and hit continue with that. Now what you have to do is press Ctrl A and delete all these files over here too. Alright, now what you have to do is basically go to control panel over there. What you have to do is go to uh, search over here and then type in power options. So once you are here, what you have to do basically is from balance, you know, just go and hit show additional plans and go to high performance. Now this is going to shift your performance of your computer to another level. Next up, what you have to do is go to your control panel back again. Over there, what you have to do is go and find system. What you have to do is go and uh, go to visit advanced system properties. Over there, what you have to do is go to advanced and then for performance, go to settings and then adjust for best performance. Once I'm with that, what we have to do is just, you know, add a little bit of them like slide open combo boxes, smooth edges and whichever you want, but just, you know, make that make it for best performance. I'll go for let Windows choose what's best for me. I have a really good PC so I don't need to do it but you have to just go and hit adjust for best performance. Hit apply and then hit ok. Next up is something we call TCP optimizer. So I'm gonna be leaving a link to the app in the description below. So what you have to do is open up TCP optimizer and then I'm gonna be leaving a link to another file that you have to import over here. So you know, just wait a little bit to get ready and then go hit file and then hit import and then import the file that I'm gonna be providing you in the description below. So what you have to do is just hit open and then it will gonna be, you know, it's gonna be just, you know, here you can see the connection speed. What you have to do is just run a speed test really quick. Alright, so as you guys can see, I'm going to be getting 5 ping, 113 Mbps and 119 Mbps up and down speed. So what you have to do is just put 100 Mbps. Now you have to do whatever you get in your speed test. It's going to be different for everyone. So what you have to do is once done with that, hit apply changes and then close the application. Next up, what you have to do is open up your control panel back again. And over there, go to network and internet and go to network and sharing center and click ethernet because i use the ethernet and go to properties and over there and uh, you'll find something called internet protocol version use the following gateway over here i'm going to be showing you guys what you have to do is 8.8.8.8 is .8 and the secondary server that you have to use is 8.8.4.4 this is going to be the google dns server so what you have to do is hit ok and hit ok back again and close it up Next up, what you have to do is open up your NVIDIA control panel. So this is going to be only available to all those who are having an NVIDIA graphics card. So once you are here, adjust settings with preview. Just click on that and over here, just let, let use my preference and from quality, reduce it down to performance. Now this is going to be not making any more much difference but it's going to be making your PC much more efficient 
for performance. All right, next step is always try to run an antivirus. For me, it's Bitdefender, but for you, you can even use Malwarebytes. It's one of the free uh, antivirus. It's gonna be removing any malware or viruses present in your computer. So just run a quick scan or run a full system scan. Just spend a little bit of time and let it happen in the background. It's gonna be really beneficial for your computer lifespan and the performance. Next up I'm going to be showing you guys is something called Memreduct. Now I'm going to be leaving link in the description below for this application as well. What you have to do is hit clean memory and hit yes and it's going to be removing every, you know, um, background running application. So that's how you do it. So this is Memreduct available over here. Now next up is we have timer resolution. Wait, wait, wait. Timer resolution. Okay, so here is the app. I'm gonna be leaving a link to this as well. So what you have to do is come over here, hit minimum. So this is gonna be also beneficial while you're playing your game. So make sure that you use all these applications. Also, guys, one more settings that you can use is go to your settings and over there search for background applications. And from there, let app run, let apps run in the background. Just turn it off. And in that way, you're going to be saving a lot of memory and use it for your performance as well. So I hope this video helped you out, guys. If it does, make sure to do leave a like and hit the subscribe button. That was all for today. See you guys in the next video. Until then, stay home, stay safe, and keep watching Bear Fox.